Today I'm participating in a challenge that's hosted by Mama Dares to DIY, Terrarium and Crafts, and Sweet Urban Rose. I'll be making some coastal decor out of these salsa jars. Welcome to my channel where I love creating budget decor through trash to treasure projects, thrifting, upcycling, and crafting. If you like this type of content, please subscribe and click that notification bell. I'm going to be painting my bottles to have the appearance of sea glass. To prepare the bottles, I soaked them in hot water and then come back with a magic eraser to remove the labels. If anyone has a better suggestion, by all means, please let me know. I'm using a mixture of the folk art paint in patina color and Mod Podge. Both of those are matte finish. I'm going to do one part of the paint and two parts of the Mod Podge. And I'll be using a flat brush to apply it to the jars. Now after mixing super well, I started painting it on and I wanted to go in the same direction, just vertically. That's right, vertical. Once I had all three jars painted with the Mod Podge and acrylic paint mixture, I still had some left over. So I brought in a couple of Dollar Tree coffee bottles that I had and I painted them up as well. I was surprised that this mixture went so far. I did three jars and two bottles with a teaspoon of acrylic paint and two teaspoons of Mod Podge. When I got them all painted up, I set them aside to dry. And I left them for about an hour. You can see here, I've just painted them. They do dry a bit darker than this. There we go. It's more streaked than I would like, but hey, I'm going to work with it. For the jars, I'm gluing a piece of nautical rope around this top rim. I'm just putting some glue on the back, sticking my pre-measured piece of nautical rope down, and then crossing it over in the front. On the larger jar, I glued a piece of nautical rope around the bottom as well. Once I had them all glued the way I wanted them, I came in with these seashells and just glued them into the V that I created on the front of the jar with a nautical rope. And that's how they look. I think they look like sea glass. What do you think? This one's a bit more detailed and I'm sorry it's going to be a bit rushed, but I'm sure you can find something on Pinterest that will tell you in better detail how to do fishnet with twine. My jar is about six inches high, so I'm going to need four times that. I'm going to use my 12 inch ruler and do my strings four times the six inches, which would be 24. There's one loop, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, I suppose. Yeah, I had eight strings. While it's still on the ruler, I give a snip on one end, and that gives me my eight pieces. For the anchor piece, I would suggest taping both ends for stability, and then you're going to do what's called a lark's head knot, if you're familiar with macrame, and connect all of those pieces of twine onto that anchor. Just put the ends together, stick that loop-de-loop -loop under, and then pull the ends through. And I'm using my fingers as spacers. So the ends are together. 
put the loop under and pull through. And here's where it gets a little bit complicated. Go ahead and tie your anchor, so to speak, around the top of the bottle. Then you're going to take two knots that are right beside each other and you're going to tie them together by using the two inside pieces that are touching. And just knot that together. I hope that made sense. Here I'm going to show you with the bottle laying down. Take two knots and tie them together. It's going to create like a V shape. Just like that. And once you get all the way around, that's your first row. You're going to start your second row. You've created these new knots, so you're going to do the same thing. Take two knots beside each other, take the two strings from each that are touching, and loop them together. And just continue this process all the way down the bottle. I was able to get five rows on my bottle. Once I reach the end, I'm just going to glue all those ends together. These coffee bottles have a little bit of an indention on the bottom, so that's where I want to put my glue so the bottle will still sit upright. And I'm creating that V pattern like I would be making another knot, but instead of knotting, I'm gluing the ends to the center of the bottom of the bottle. Now it looks a little bit like a rat's nest when you're done, but I don't think anybody's going to be picking up the bottles and looking at the bottom, so we're good. And that's my little grouping. I don't have any tropical looking, seagrass looking plants to put in them right now. But I'm thinking, I did save the lids and it might be cute to put some tea lights on top of those. What do you think? If you're not familiar with any of the host channels, please check the description box where I've linked all of their channels for you to check them out. And while you're there, check out the playlist for this jar bottle upcycle challenge. Thank you so very much for taking the time to watch my video today. If you liked it, give me a thumbs up.